Hey, this is Old Newbie from the Old Newbie VR Show, and today we got something really great for you. We got Blue Protocol. Now, this is a anime MMO RPG that's been released by Bandai Namco, or Bamco as we call them, and it's not out yet, but they have released the benchmarking software for it. Now, this is right now, it's only in Japan, and so I actually had to go to the Japanese website in order to download this benchmark. But what it does is basically runs the benchmark on your computer and lets you know that uh, if you can, how your computer will perform with Blue Protocol. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over some of the controls on this. Uh, and hopefully you'll be able to see my mouse. There she is. So, now, like I said, this is all in Japanese. It was downloaded from the Japanese website, and this game is actually going to come out on the Japanese side first, but there, it does have a plan for a global release. Um, so if we start over here on the right, you can see this says Nihon, and sorry, my, my Japanese is okay. I, can, I cannot read any kanji. I can kind of get by with the hiragana and katakana, but uh, my kanji is no good. But this says Nihon, so it's just basically Japanese, but there's no other option here so that's that's that the language for this and like I said this is only in Japan you have to go to Japanese site to get it over here you have something that says something site site so that is just that just takes you to the website here it says uh, uh, a license so this is just the licensing stuff um, this is this is the report that you get after you run the benchmark uh, this right here is actually the configuration and like I said, I don't know the kanji, but this is the configuration This will pop up the configuration and then this right here is the um, screen, Screenshot so wherever you whenever you take a screenshot when you're doing the character design this takes you to the folder that has your, your screenshots in it so right here is the character designer so this is set up a whole lot like Final Fantasy XIV benchmark where you'll have the benchmark but you can also design your character before the benchmark and so the benchmark will actually feature the character that you design and so you can go to the character designer and this this will uh, this will take you to the character designer and then here is start start and that just takes you to that runs the benchmark and then here right here is loop loop and that, that just will that'll loop the uh, the game for you um, what we are going to do is we're going to go into, well, we'll run through the character design real quick. I have a character already designed. Let's see if this pops up. Okay, here we are in the character design menu. You can see I already designed my, my own character here. Let's see if I can, uh, there she is. Again, I can't read the kanji, so I don't know what that says. This is a uh, character uh, viewer, so this is the viewer, so I can actually change the different views of the character, and you get the typical rotation, zoom in, zoom out. You can make the character <laughs> laugh, and emote, and then here, down here, you can take the pictures. This is the benchmark run, and this is the character. And you can export your character. This character exporter. Uh, I think I can still edit it. Yeah, they just asked me if I want to edit it again, but let's just start a new character. So obviously you can pick your type, male or female. Pick male this time. Now they have a bunch of presets. These are the preset one, preset two, preset three. That's what this says, preset. And then you can have the, where you can do all the individual settings. Small, medium, large. 
and then you got your slider bars, hair types, hair color, and the fade between the two colors, the shininess. Here's your face type, face color, eye types, pupil types. eyelashes and then the buttons here give you the next option for the eyes which is eye color you can change different aspects of the eye color and then the eyebrows and then your corresponding slider bars nose type mouth type and then you can pick all different types of different accessories, even beards. These are the lip types. Tattoos and stuff. Eyeshadow. And then finally you can select the voice. All right, and so now we've got the menu options in the launcher, and at the bottom we have this one that has got all the kanji in it. Now this kanji one is actually all of the configurations for the benchmark. So let's go ahead and click that and hopefully it'll switch over. Okay, cool. So here, uh, my mouse is not quite lining up, so I'm gonna do my best to see if I can make it line up. It's just the, the recording software. So here we've got the options for running the benchmark and this first tab is uh, consists of the scooting options and so this first one here is screen mode so this is the screen mode and this one this top one this top button is window so yeah so window and then full screen and you can see here all we get is 1920 by 1080 uh, at the end here you can see it's grayed out so there I can't pull it down so the only option we have to run this at is 1920 by 1080 now hopefully in the final release when this does get released to the public and especially on PC we'll get the, the option to choose higher level of resolution like 1440p and 4k but for uh, this initial this initial release um, all we get is uh, 1080p and then down here is the Screenshot. So the screenshot locations, so when you do take the screenshots, this is the folder that it'll dump those screenshots in. So the uh, the next option we have is uh, sound, sound. So this is the sound menu. And at the top we have the master, master volume. Uh, I'm not sure what this volume is. This is BGM, background music. This is uh, voice. voice option this is the uh, system option system system volume and then uh not sure what that is again sorry about the kanji i, can, I don't know kanji uh and now moving up to the final column this is the graphic so this is their graphic settings and then here we have um now this does preset so there's there's preset options here and I don't know if it'll let me, it'll show when I pull it down, but um, in this menu, when you pull it down, and, it, and it's all in kanji, so I wouldn't be able to tell you, but it's the different levels of graphics that are preset. So basically your low, medium, high settings. And then there's uh, three different settings that are your user settings. So when I set these options here, down here, I can actually save it to a user, to a user setting in this menu here that says user preset and so I can save it and then um, uh, I can save my setting three different uh, settings that I define but uh, these settings here are let's see here this is a scale this first one is the scale Oops, sorry this first one here is the scale and you can scale up to 150 of the, the resolution 
The next one, I am sorry, can't read kanji, not sure what that is. This one is the uh, anti, anti aliasing. Okay, so anti aliasing. So uh, you can set your anti aliasing level. I've got my maxed out to four. The next one is your uh, post post processing. Um, so that gives you all the neat effects after that. Uh, the bottom one is, um, the next one is your, what is it, uh, shadows, uh, and sorry, my, uh, my mouse, unfortunately, is not lining up, so the next one down is shadows, um, underneath that, let's see if I can raise this up, shadows, and then we have, uh, textures, that's the third one from the bottom, textures here and then we have effects so that's probably um, light shafts and all the other stuff the different effects and then finally the bottom one I, again that's in kanji I can't read it but these are all your graphic options so for you for the benchmark so you set these you run the benchmark and um, and then you see how your computer performs I've got mine totally maxed out because again the only the maximum resolution is only 1080p my graphics card should be able to handle um, the maxed out settings at 1080p but uh, if you have a lesser graphics card then maybe you want to look at adjusting some of these settings um, but hopefully again when the final version of this comes out um, we'll have more options where you can adjust the resolution and then uh, and then be able to play with these settings as well to get you the perfect um, performance for running the game All right, so there you have it. So let's go ahead and run the benchmark. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up here. Now, mind you, I've got the recording software going. I'm in VR and I'm running a benchmark. So the benchmark may not be as smooth uh, when the video comes out, hopefully it is. But uh, just reminder that I have all that stuff running so it may not be as smooth or my score will probably be higher if I was running it independently of all the other stuff I got running in the background for this video. So I hit start here and it should be starting up. All right, you can see my stats down there at the bottom. And one thing is you can see also it says 1920 by 1080p. Now that was all it would let me select. It won't go any higher. Now hopefully for the PC release, we'll be able to select higher resolutions like 4K and 1440p. And you saw that was my character on the screen that I designed. Character design in here is really great. And I like it, we have some really nice living sets. So we've got uh, time of day changes. battle going on now. I'm getting a chance to preview all of the different character skills and character classes. Well, not all of the skills, maybe just a few highlighting skills, but definitely the different types of classes.
and the music is incredible. It's really nice. It's very adventurous type music. Some of the scenes were really like ethereal type music, but man, this is this is real. This is a great composer, whoever uh, did the music. I'll have to look that up. Along with the artwork, we're getting some really nice vistas here. Looks like we're gonna have the grand battle. I could made it through, even with my stuff running, I think we're we're equipped. And there you have it. There's the blue protocol benchmark. Uh, I'll probably make a follow-up video. What I would like to do is run the Radian super resolution on this benchmark and see if I can actually get it to upscale the 4k and see if that makes any difference so that will come in a later video and I also want to go through all of the settings on there so hang tight but uh, as for now that is the blue protocol benchmark